I don't think we've been shy about mentioning that not every device is a perfect fit for wireless power. Some devices just use too much power and some devices just use power too quickly. However, there are a lot of devices that use low power and then they sit for a long time and they use very little to no power for that time. And there is one area that is a perfect fit for wireless charging and that is the area of personal hygiene items that most of us have in our bathrooms. These examples were in our podium at CES 2022. We called it the bathroom of the future. However, there's no reason why we couldn't have called it the bathroom of today because we have all the parts and pieces to make these a reality right now. There's a couple reasons that this is the perfect area to get wireless charging in first. And the first reason, obviously, is the big one, is to eliminate cords around water, thus reducing the possibility for any electric shock. There's a lot of other reasons why it makes sense to use wireless power in devices that live in kind of the bathroom type environment. Because it doesn't have a dock now to give it power, all that uh, water, dirt, and grime can't accumulate and it'll get moldy and get gross, which is nice. It's just kind of freestanding. And secondly, because you can seal it up nice and tight because you're not using replaceable batteries, you can actually keep a lot of that water outside from getting in and messing with the batteries, getting corrosion and stuff like that. So there's a lot of advantages to going to wireless power with devices that live around a kind of a wet environment. So that brings us to the biggest reason, and it has to do with the amount of time they're used. So. First of all, the bathroom's usually a confined environment. They always have a plug somewhere near the counter. And that's important because obviously the closer it is to the transmitter, the more charge it's gonna get. But in these cases, it doesn't really matter because they're used, what, two, three minutes each morning, three minutes each night, total of six minutes out of an entire 24 hour day where the rest of the time they're sitting usually in the same place, in the same orientation and you can just leave them there and the transmitter from the wall can slowly trickle charge them, top them off for the next use. And that's why we think that the bathroom devices are probably going to be the first commercially available wireless charged or powered suite of products because you have one transmitter. The transmitter, remember, is one to many. So this one transmitter can sit and, and, and bathe all of your devices, this and many more devices, and keep them topped up. So when you go to grab the, the trimmer or the razor, it'll be ready. And you're never gonna have to worry about, you know, a toothbrush company having to send you a new battery every month, which they do, or getting in there and, and, and replacing a gross corroded battery. And your water pick will always be charged and ready to go every night when you go use it to, to, pick, your, to pick your teeth. So the bathroom has some of the best devices that can be retrofitted and used with wireless power. And you know we're excited about that opportunity. If you like these videos and you wanna learn more about wireless power and kind of the types of, of devices we're thinking of, go back and watch the first couple episodes of Powered by Powercast. And then if you wanna see what we talk about next, make sure you subscribe so that you're notified when we put up a new episode. Appreciate you watching, hope you like it, and see you next time.